Ron. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I know this is not the first time we met, but I feel like it is the first time because you have such a presence. I feel calm. I don't know what it is. Well, we've been chatting on Clubhouse for a while now, and we fr we finally got to meet in person over the summer. So it's just I just feel like I, I know you, Julissa, and you're just such, such a great. You're just so great, and oh what gosh. you're doing uh, with uh, with your career is just fantastic. And I, I just I'm so excited to be here today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Ron. So hey guys, welcome back to the life of a makeup artist. A podcast. We have an amazing episode with Ron. This is Ron. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, we'll talk about it later. But Ron is a cosmetic chemist and the founder of the brand Beauty Stat. And if you have not been living under a rock, you probably know what Beauty Stat is. But if you don't, you know what? Today you're gonna find out. Ron, how are you doing? Like, how's life? Let's talk about that first. Julissa, it's been an insane year so far. I mean. I've launched the business two years ago, right. and it's been a crazy ride. You know, we, we started direct-to-consumer, and we started to roll out into a lot of big major retailers from Saks, Norm, Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, Blue Mercury, Cospar, Macy's, Bloomingdale's. Crazy. It's, an, it's, an, it's been insane. We're in a lot of the big, uh, we're in QVC, we're getting right. back on air in QVC in a couple of months, so it's just super exciting. You, right. know, you know, I started this business based on the fact that we were able to stabilize pure vitamin C. Right. So we have a star product, our vitamin C serum. It is rock stable, three patents, awards. Wow. Awards. I mean, we, we just won the Health, uh, Health Magazine Award, uh, um, a, new, a New Beauty Award, uh, award. We've won the right. Allure Magazine Best of Beauty for our eye cream with vitamin That's C. That's crazy. So it's been an insane, insane ride, and I, it's, it's been hard to keep up with everything. Right. It's been a lot, but you've gotten so many awards. But before I, I talk about that, how are you coping? It's no longer swimming, swimming pool season. No. So <laughs> You know I love the summer. You know I love the summer. I brought us with his best you know, night, okay? <laughs> you know, the hot the hot girl, hot boy summer. <laughs> Unfortunately it's over and it's you know, it's back to you know, you know, putting on more right. layers now. I still get to the gym and that's one of my outlets to right. put to kind of relax and yeah. kind of focus on me and myself yeah. and self care. Right. And I also started doing a lot of walking as well. So right. One of the things I do when I wrap up my day is I'll take a long walk. I'll do a mile, two miles, sometimes five miles without my phone. I leave my phone at home and, right. I, and I take and I'm out for an hour or so. Right. And that helps me just really connect with nature. I walk by the river. I, I really connect with nature. And right. I feel so, com so much more calm and relaxed by the time I get back home. So that's one of the things I've been doing to help really help cope manage with the stress of growing a business i absolutely love that now you've given us a sneak peek of you know the accolades that beauty stat has gotten in such a short period of time but how did beauty stat even start because it wasn't a beauty brand in the first place it was a blog. it was a blog tell us more about that yes yeah, so i launched beauty stat 12 year 12 years ago as a blog mm -hmm. and, and this is after i worked for a lot of big companies clinique estee lauder la mer revlon avon l'oreal developing products for those brands i felt like I've done enough in terms of development. I wanted to kind of step back, help consumers shop and uh -huh. understand what products work and what and what don't work right. by blogging and posting reviews of products that I've tried, that I've reviewed the technology, and helping consumers make better purchase decisions. Right. So that was the initial... You were ahead of your time because now we see more derms and pros actually talking about products. Like, if I found your blog, I'm like, okay, this is a cosmetic chemist. He knows what he's talking about. Like, I want to know everything that you're recommending. Absolutely, and that's that's how we started, and we grew, we grew a little bit of a following there. And I had no intention of... of creating a brand. Right. That was never my, I felt like there were too many brands out there, too many products, until Jalisa, I started to get so many questions and comments about vitamin C. Right. Why is it unstable? Why does it turn brown and oxidize? What can I do about it? And that got me thinking, what if me as a cosmetic chemist could stabilize pure vitamin C? Right. Like that would be a reason to launch a product and a brand. Right. So me and my team of chemists, we worked for several years on the side, right. trying to stabilize it, trying to come up with a great formula with a nice texture. How many years did it take? It's about five years. Oh, wow. So a lot, a lot, a lot of, of time, patience and diligence. Of, and we, we didn't think it would go anywhere. We just were kind of working on this, you know, as our night gig and trying to see if it, if it came into any, it came out to, to be anything. So patents, independent clinical testing, rock stable, 
three to five year shelf life, does not oxidize, turn brown, orange, or anything. So we launched Beauty Stat with a star vitamin C serum, our universal C skin refiner, two years ago, and the rest is history. Wow. But, you know, it sounds like, because everybody's like, oh, Beauty Stat, you know, it's, it's new, and it's like, but you've been working on this for a really long yeah. time. You've been in this business, so you've, you, you've been around. Like I've been around, yes. Wow. So I want to know, though, like, you grew up in the U.S. Yep. You know, your front is Barbados, right? Barbados is where my family's right. from, yes. Did your family believe in what you were doing? Because you know how it, my grandmother was like, you need to go to UE, which is the yep. University of West Indies. You yep. need to do this. And it was like makeup, you know what I mean? Like, right. rest, in, you know, rest in peace. But, you know, how was your family, like, when you first wanted to, like, get into cosmetic, uh, c like, chemistry and stuff like that? W w was that your path? That was not my path. It was totally accidental. So you know this from being from the Caribbean. I had I grew up with parents that wanted me to, to be a, pres a respected profession. Right. That meant a, meant a doctor, a doctor or a lawyer. So we were inclined to be more into the sciences. Right. So I had a lot of pressure from my parents. Ron, become a doctor. It's a great profession. It's respected. Right. You'll make money and you'll earn respect. And I didn't know what what else I wanted to do. Right. So especially my mom, she was she really want. I think she wanted to become a doctor. She became, ended up becoming a nurse. But it was oh, a, wow. it was her ambition that she kind of pushed on me. And I was like, you know, I'll try it. Right. So I went to a year of med school. Wow. Dropped out. Did I hated you it? You hated it. I hated it. It was not. It was, it was not. You're like I'm me. out. Yeah. <laughs> it, it 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 was not for me. So I moved back in with my parents and. I started to send out resumes because mm -hmm. I had because I had, a, I had a, a chemistry and biology degree, and I sent out a bunch of resumes. And Estee Lauder's Clinique division called me in for an interview. Wow! So I drive up to this huge lab out in Long Island, and had a great interview. I had no idea there was this, this whole world of science and chemistry behind the development of beauty products. Right. It was love at first sight. They hired me on the spot, and that is how I. Fell into the industry. Had no idea this. I mean, it was a combination of of, of science and understand, understanding right. ing ingredients, but also creativity. Being able to combine them in a way to create textures, colors, feels that are really unique and right. really deliver results for consum for consumers. And I, and I was hooked. So I want to close the loop with the story with my mom. So she. Your just, mom is like, yes. well, yeah, well, that's, what, that's what happened. That's what like, that's what you happened. know, I led you into this. Th so. That's what happened. So she. So of course, at first she was disappointed that, oh, what is this cosmetic? Until I brought home samples of products. <laughs> She's like, do you have more of that? Do you have more of that moisture? Instantly <laughs> forgiven. Instantly right? forgiven. Right. And all of a sudden, yeah, I want Ron, more. Ron, my yeah, eye cream is low. low What's going on? <laughs> exactly. That's exact. So that's so. It was her. It's the expression on her face when she saw beauty products, and that's why I love this business right. because it brings so much joy right. to to consumers and to my mom. And and I and I feel that every day when I when I when consumers tell me, Hey, Ron, I tried your beauty set of vitamin C serum. It really changed my skin. And I think of my mom every time, right. and that how the delight that she had. Wow. I love that. And I mean, of course, you know, now she's probably so proud. She's, you know? she's is so proud, uh, proud of me. And she's like, what med school? Like, what's that? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you lightly touched on, you know, nine beauty awards. Is it probably more? Is it nine or it's, more? I, than, think, more I think it's more nine. Than nine. It's more than nine. We, we, we have four. We have four products. We just launched our facial cleanser. Every product has won multiple awards. Wow. That's such a drop the mic moment. Can you tell us, like, kind of take us through a little bit more of some of those awards? So you've gotten Allure, Allure Best in Beauty. Allure Best of Beauty for our eye cream. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a Women's Health Award just for a vitamin C serum for mature skin. Awards from Health Magazine, Shape Magazine, Women's Wear Daily, Top 100 Beauty Products of All Time. We have Elle Magazine for our eye cream, uh, Beauty Innovator Award. Oh, Oprah Magazine, 2020, Best Eye Cream. So it's been from every... Once Oprah gives you the seal of yeah, approval, yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah, so every, yeah, Refinery29 for a moisturizer, Best Moisturizer. So it's like, I'm so thankful. I'm right. so thankful. I'm so thankful that, you know, consumers really see a difference with using our products. And, right. and the beauty editors as well, they agree. So... Wow. Well, I want to dig a little bit deeper, right? Because I feel like the consumer today 
is very savvy. Everybody yes. knows, oh, yes. you know, all the things. But I want to talk about, you know, some of your ingredients, obviously vitamin C being the star. Um, but can you talk a bit more about, like, you know, obviously vitamin C, but what are the star ingredients in, you know, Beauty Stat? And, you know, what makes Beauty Stat different? I know the stabilization of vitamin C and stuff, but what else is, like, besides that, like, what else, in addition to, sorry, yep. in addition to that, like, what else is, you know, your star product, your star ingredient? Well, I always, I always loved vitamin C because it does three great things for the skin, and it benefits all ages, all mm -hmm. ages, all colors, mm -hmm. everyone it benefits. Right. So it's a powerful antioxidant. It, it, it inhibits the overproduction of melanin. That's why it can help even out skin tone. Right. It stimulates collagen. You know, right. people, people don't realize that vitamin C serums can now actually firm your skin and reduce wrinkles as well. Uh -huh. So it does everything, whether you're 25 or 65, it could benefit your skin. All uh -huh. colors, all tones, it improves your skin. Right. So I love that ingredient. Right. But there are others that I like as well. Hyaluronic acid, right. that's a staple for hydration as well. Right. So we combine that with our vitamin C with, right. with hyaluronic acid. Uh, you know, ceramides, again, people talk about their skin barrier right. and moisture barrier and how it may be compromised. Right. They may be feeling more sensitive. Perhaps they're overexposed to the elements or right. they're, they're cocktailing too many products and kind of damaging their right. skin. That's why I love those ingredients, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and then vitamin C, of course, is it should be a staple in everyone's uh, routine. Mm, I love that. Now, I know you mentioned it earlier, but I want to talk about your newest launch. Congratulations. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Take us through your newest launch. Okay. So we launched a facial cleanser, and this is something that came from our consumers. Guys, Ron, we love your vitamin C serum. We love your moisturizer. But we need a cleanser. That'll right. that'll start my routine if I had if I could use all everything from right. Beauty So we we got that feedback. So went back to our lab and said, listen, if we're going to launch a cleanser, what is the need out there? Like what's missing right. from the cleanser market where we could come in and really make a statement and really show that we have something that's unique and that's needed by consumers. So we start to think about okay, we're in this age of uh, viruses and bacteria and contaminants, and what is the impact of those on our skin? Right. So we were looking for an ingredient that's going to help fight those types of contaminants right. and could help improve the skin, but yet not strip the skin or, or, or damage the barrier or affect the microbiome of the, of, of, of the, of the, of the skin right. as well. So is it creamy? Is it gel? It's a cream. It's a cream cleanser. So it's the Beauty Stat Uni Universal Microbiome Balancing mm -hmm. Cleanser. I love that. So we are we are, are helping the skin's microbiome. So what that what the microbiome means is that that's the back the friendly bacteria that we right. need on the surface of our skin, and some other cleansers can wipe it all out, and, right. that, and that makes your skin more sensitive and, right. and it really puts it in balance in, in, in an imbalanced situation. Mm -hmm. We use medical grade silver. That's our star oh. ingredient. It's actually pure silver. The product is a cream cleanser and it's sparkling, lavish. You have a sample of it. You have a sample of it in your bag. And I'm it's, fancy now. It no is, one can it's luxe. It it's, uh, provides a very gentle, soft foam. It's not lacy, but foam. it's a, a gentle foam. Mm -hmm. It cleanses the skin thoroughly, you know, makeup, you know, debris. Uh, as well as being able to keep your moisture barrier intact mm -hmm. and your skin's microbiome intact. Wow. So I'm excited for you, for you to try it. We just launched that last week, and we're thrilled. The, the feedback so far is fantastic from the beauty editors, and I think we're almost sold out. So. Oh, my God. Yes. That's amazing, yeah. Ron. I'm so happy for you. Now, you are running around. You're going to different retailers. You're meeting everyone left and right. And I know we spoke about you know, you trying to remain balanced and walking and stuff, but I want to know about, like, your regimen, like, your, you know, you, do you work out? I mean, I know you work out, you know, but, well, like, what's your regimen? Like, you walk and, like, you, what 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 do you do? Because, so, guys, Ron is Ron is a hunk, guys. Ron <laughs> is out here, you know, on Instagram. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> Ron I've, is I've, out here. I've been known to take my shirt <laughs> off on, on stories, but, but those, the, you know, that weather, the weather's changed now. It's fall, so, again, it's... But we'll just scroll down yeah. the feed. It's okay. I'm an early <laughs> riser. So that's 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 one thing. I mm -hmm. like to get my day started. If I tell you what time I wake up, Jaleesa, it's like what? No, tell me. 4:30 a.m. I'm at the gym at by 5:30. Wow. A.m. Monday through Friday. But how? Do, wait. Before you go more, 
how did you start because those type of habits are hard to really solidify yes as i got older i just became more conscious of where my energy is best during the day mm -hmm. and my energy is best in the morning that's what that's when i i i, I do the, my most challenging mm -hmm. tasks that's when I'm, my uh, my head is clearer in the afternoon not so much i kind of i kind of get fuzzy midday right and sometimes I have a little, a little bounce back in, in, in the afternoon. But I, I really build my day around when I have the most energy. So being able to get up early, mm -hmm. get my work out and be physical, be more focused on me and my, and my body. And then by 7, th I'm home from the gym at 7.30 a.m. That's mm -hmm. when a lot of people are getting up. Right. So I'm already at my desk. Right. And I'm thinking clearly and it's the best time of day. So that really gets starts my day and gets me going and, and really puts me, to, again, puts me in a, in a great position right. to have a productive day. Right. Do you avoid certain foods? As we get older, we have to be very cognizant of what we put inside our bodies and yes. on our skin, of yep. course. Um, but is there any special, like... I do. I do, I do, I do follow, follow some, some regimen. I eat clean, healthy foods. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't eat too, much, uh, uh, too many carbs. I avoid process, no sugar, no bread. Um, no, no processed goods. Everything is very whole, whole foods, high protein, and I've been able to, you know, keep you know in somewhat shape as I get older right. by following that type of regimen. It makes me feel good, you know, because I feel like I have to be strong both physically as well as mentally and right. spiritually in order to grow a, bu a business. So it's something right. that I recommend other entrepreneurs, like really just try to focus on on, on balance and, and really working and improving all aspects yeah. of, of your. Yeah, I love that. I asked that because I noticed like you're so into health and obviously it's not just about grinding and networking and doing all these things. Like you have to take care of yourself yes. because if you don't have you, you can't run a business. You can't, absolutely cannot. You can't. Like you can't. Yeah. Okay, so now um you have we have been talking about you know clubhouse and we met on there and this is where this is ron originated <laughs> because ron was the only person that was thinking about the hearing impaired community and you know we love it we love you ron um but you share so much about you know what you know in business and i think that's amazing right for those who want to you know start in beauty and things like that now what are three things you would say you know maybe just you know short that you would tell someone who's wanting to start a skincare business yeah. because obviously it takes a lot of testing obviously yeah, yeah, you know yeah. but what would be those three things if you know someone that's listening and that's like I want to have my own skincare line one day I tell entrepreneurs th the same three things all the time first of all, I, t I tell them make sure you have a, a concept that you've tested with consumers independently to find out whether or not your idea really has legs, right. whether it has, whether it has a market fit. Right. Is it something that consumers want? Mm -hmm. Is it unique? Mm -hmm. And how can you really own own that space? Right. That's one. Surround yourself with advisors, people that are going to mentor you and really tell you the hard truth. Meaning, they're going to they're not going to they're not going to humor you. They're going to tell you, right. hey, I think you you could do better. Right. I think you could think about this differently. Or they could even say, "Hey, I don't even think it's a good idea. Right. Test it out. Get some other, get some more feedback right. on it." And and then the last thing is, you could, you know, remember how I started my business? Mm -hmm. I had a day, I had a day job where I was making money, mm -hmm. but I also had a night gig where I was tinkering around, trying to see if Funny. I can get this work. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing you could do as well. Right. Instead of you, you have to find that balance of okay, being able to bring in some money, right. and then being able to work on your side, your dream job, right. on the side until you get it to a point where you know you could switch. Yep. That's key, because that's what I did. I was working retail, and then I was like, all right, I'll fund my little freelance side thing until you could grow it. Yes. Wow. I love that. Thank you so much. That's so insightful. Okay, so, Ron, I want to play a game. Okay. You Are you open? I'm open to it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so this game, it's, um, it's kind of like a lightning round. I'm going to ask you... Um, questions it's just two options you have two seconds to respond okay that's oh cool God, that's are cool. you ready that's cool okay um romantic dinner or romantic picnic dinner uh drink red wine or white wine forever white one ingredient you wish you can get rid of ingredient yeah i get rid of ooh, i guess ooh, of uh what's it oh my god okay <laughs> It's okay. We'll give you more. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll come. I'll come back. Okay, we'll come back. Um, favorite skincare brand that's not yours. Favorite skincare brand that's not mine. Interesting. Okay, Shiseido. 
Oh, love that. Okay, so you're at a party, you're the wallflower, or you're busting a move? Wallflower first. <laughs> <laughs> so both, so both. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one ingredient you wish you could get rid of? It would have to be, oh, benzene's such a hot ingredient right now. That's bad, so yes, get rid of benzene. Okay, benzene, why? I don't know, I don't it's, know. We, we have that recent controversy with it being, in, being found in some sunscreen products, and it's been very, oh, right. yeah, so, yes. so that's one. We can get rid of that one. Right. So now that you mentioned sunscreen, are we going to, you know, this is me just asking the Lord, asking <laughs> the skincare gods, are we going to see sunscreen from Beauty Start? Is this something that's like, is it a Whoa. secret? Is it years? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like asking too much, but. It's coming. It's <gasps> coming in 2022. Oh my gosh. Yes. So. And it's, Jaleesa, it's going to be a breakthrough. Really? Yes, it is. Sunscreen is like everybody has a sunscreen right everyone now. Everyone has a sunscreen and. Some is too sticky. Some is like. It's taken us. A white cast. It's taken us a lot of time. Mm hmm we're going to do it right, and it's going to be big. Yeah. I can't believe that. I'm so excited. Yeah, we are, we are finessing it and fine-tuning it. And it yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be magic. Oh, my gosh. So, Ron, you have been absolutely amazing. We want to support you, so please tell us how we can find you, the brand. Tell us everything. Oh, yeah. No, f follow us on social. We're at BeautyStat. Mm -hmm. My personal Instagram is Ron Robinson, cosmetic chemist. So mm -hmm. follow us. You'll hear the news about our product launches, our retail rollouts, and any new. Also, we're educating consumers about skincare and ingredients. So follow, follow us on social to learn yeah, more. It's a lot of education. Well, thank you so much, Ron, for making the time to be on the Live of a Makeup Artist. We'll see you on the next episode. Thank you, Jaleesa. Thank, thank you. Ron. That was fantastic. Oh thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Oh, my God. That was so much fun. That was. That was. <laughs>